I have an idea. Let me know what you think of this. Yeah? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have an idea here. Check this out, gotta work it. <laughs> what if I made this space here Production Central 3.0? How freaking cool would that be? Everything I want and like and that would be in one place. I'm thinking, I take out these two gray shells here and I can put my bicycles, there'll be plenty of room for the bicycles. I can keep my work stand in here. I could have like extra bicycle parts and tools like maybe put a pegboard up here like I already have or I have the pegboard here maybe I can just use that keep like the bicycle tools and maybe some extra RC stuff here and like right now like my workbench in the garage I got RC car batteries and stuff everywhere it's kind of eating up a lot of room so I can like keep my RC batteries here and keep my RC cars up here which I probably need a bigger shelf but I can move one of these wire racks too. I can move one of those and uh, transfer it over here. Make that a little bit bigger. Man, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be cool because I already got the like, tires in that hanging here, which I probably have to move. But yeah, I don't know. See, I already got the air conditioner, which I tested. And um, that would be the only problem is it's kind of loud, but um, you know, I guess I can get a cool in here, use a fan if I'm broadcasting. Or filming but yeah see it's got a duct and then you have this here so that just uh, I think what I would do is just cut a hole in the floor and just kind of mount it to the floor and then that way I can blow the air out underneath there's also this thing here that goes in the window to uh then look i got this fridge i've been trying to sell i keep that in here and keep some nice cold beverages i put a keurig <laughs> i got coffee yeah man dude i could totally set this thing up look how cool i got a workbench here it's already got a little vice i think this thing would have to go i don't think i need that <laughs> would need that in here but i can move that into the main garage but uh man you know how cool i, I got a window here you know, like maybe take uh no i don't want to take that off because there's a light underneath here uh i don't have a plug in yeah there's a light right here and if i'm sitting here working look i can see right out ah. yeah i'll be like hey everybody welcome back to the channel look production central 3.0 Man, look, I even got this neon lights right here. Maybe if I had a, uh, a transformer, which I might have one laying around. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Actually, I think this one here runs just on 12 volts. How cool would that be? Put, like, neon light and, you know, like, backlight. I don't know. Might do it, man. Might do that. It'd be kind of cool. I have all my stuff here. My bicycle's right here in the corner. And then my RC cars and stuff over here. Maybe even, like, the drones. I can put, like, the drone batteries and all yeah i don't know it's an idea i'm pretty excited i might just go ahead and do this all right everyone. i'm not gonna bore you with it but uh just letting you know taking the old road bike out and go for a ride <laughs> the brake rotor sunflower all right let's ride right we are so close to getting this thing back together so i got the new parts and this is what i'm talking about like it's it's a model right so you put this thing together let's open this up here maybe it doesn't make sense when i say model but like for most of us probably boys we had model cars we built you know something you know, like, we, we build little things like this Grand National here. Our good friend Josh gave me that one there. Uh, yeah, so they come in these little plastic things, you know, and you would, like that, just cut it out. And you had the part in that. And, yeah, that's the right one. So, let me sh If you see right here, this is the mount for the shock. There's the original one. So you just snap that off. 
and now I have one other problem here if you look at this um, See how far that mo this whole thing is moving? There's a, uh, a bracket right here, which I'll show you. I got too many loose screws in here, but there's a bracket right here that's supposed to uh, hold the motor to this arm, <laughs> and, it, and it broke both sides too. So uh, while I have it apart, or I need it anyhow, but. Instead of getting the original ones that were plastic, I've seen there's some companies that make them out of metal. So, we're going to go ahead and throw the metal ones on here. Now look at this. This is where the screw goes in. And then there's a pin inside of the, next to that transmission case. So, you can picture how weak this is. And look at the size of the tire. So, there's a lot of torque when you accelerate. It's trying to pull. So, let's go ahead and uh, get this again. Man, we're, we're literally like not that far off here getting this thing running. I am so excited. Look at that. We are now ready to roll. This took way longer than I expected. This side isn't the side that I had to fix the shocks on. So getting that screw in there was a real pain. And then on that side, when I got the shocks in, I didn't realize I didn't put the little fittings that go here for the shocks, which would be, you know, way too easy if the uh oh hey, yeah there it is right here there's a nut and bolt and then of course that piece is broke but if I would have done this and then put the arm on oh, I caused myself a whole lot of extra work <laughs> but hey look it's done it is done so let's go take it for a ride time to get the clod buster she's ready to run baby let's go this thing badass or what man oh i love this thing but unfortunately this is old this was the first original this is the original production which i think was 19 is either 85 or 87 these came out and i just found out i got a rare one because i have the actual chevy bow tie and it actually says chevrolet on the tailgate tamia didn't have the rights to the chevy so they ended up they had to take it off so only certain ones have the actual bow tie. So like I said, this being 85, 87, whatever it was, obviously this plastic has gotten brittle because look, I broke another shock, which isn't a problem. I have one arm, but the problem is, uh, we come over here, I broke this shock too. So now I have to order another kit, which will come with both arms and I may as well replace this one <laughs> while I'm going to have it apart because it's probably going to break sooner or later anyhow. But, uh, oh well, well, I have fun with it and it's working man, I'm happy it's working. I got to see it do the wheelie again and I'll, I'll get it rolling but here's the thing man, I got a brand new one coming tomorrow, it's ready to run. Y'all going to love this thing, it's freaking supposed to be really fast. <laughs> And then I have another Tamiya, which ah, I just found out I've been saying that wrong for like over 20 years. I kept calling Tamiya, it's Tamiya. <laughs> that one got dropped off yesterday, and I'll tell you, I'm dying to freaking dig into that box, but she's going to kill me if I start working on that table when she's home. So she's going to work tomorrow. So when she leaves, I'm going to go ahead and bust out the brand new car and start putting it together and show you that. I don't know. It just worked out perfect yesterday. It was storming. She was in the kitchen. FedEx showed up my phone I got a text package was delivered and then the phone then the doorbell thing went off they just left it there at the door which luckily I was here because they didn't even put it all the way underneath the thing and the box was starting to get wet but 
we got it man we got it man so i got two more cars and i'll go ahead and order the parts get this one uh get this thing running i love it so what do we got going on here we are preparing bed for the pole garden So she needs all this dirt and cow poop for her new beds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have one for garlic, one for the um, onion, and those green ones are gonna be your flowers and herbs. And probably that's it. So she goes on to uh, Home Depot.com and uh, orders all this stuff and surprise you know who's got to go grab the trailer and <laughs> go get all this stuff see she always getting stuff for her garden which complains when i want to get some stuff there is something that my husband doesn't eat but i love it mm -hmm. it's purple whole black eye peas very good with the uh, ham hock and cornbread i'll eat cornbread i'm not eating a ham hock yeah, he calls me redneck Ruski <laughs> for eating that. that. That was my harvest today, by the way. I call you redneck when you're cracking open that quart of beer that you... Okay, bye. Nice harvest, honey. Cream crumble. Damn, it looks good. She's trying to ruin my diet. Cheesecake crumble is ready. Mm. I'm not really a big fan of blueberry, but damn, those are good. That's all fresh picked blueberries, too. Yeah, thanks to your wife. Yeah. Chef. Done. The jealous one. No hugs going on in this house without reaction from that one. Get a German Shepherd, they said. Alright, everyone. So, first thing I want to do for this Production Central 3.0 is uh, I want to get this air conditioner cleaned up. Give it every bit of ch <laughs> every chance to uh work as efficiently as possible it is quite dirty so we're gonna go ahead uh, i don't want to clean this ah uh, this is the whole thing is gonna be hard damn because none of these electronics should be getting wet so this has a drip hose so i guess we're just gonna clean this part Then we're gonna go ahead and get this AC installed. Right. Next thing we need to do is, this is what du the AC ducts out of. So it fits here in the window, so I don't think they ever designed it for such a short window. So we're gonna have to trim this. Tell you what, man, if you don't have one of these, you will get one. And boom, look at that we have a C now I don't know I'm, I'm not sure if I'm really a fan of the duct work going out of the window but that was kind of like the most the least destructive way to do that for now um, I can cut a hole in the floor and just kind of vent it underneath which I might do because this really isn't a big table right here and then I have this whole corner taken up plus it kind of takes away from my view outside because with this uh, lip up here I only kind of have a small part of the window to look out at Let's see so you have this which I like it's another shelf and then you have a light which is really nice to have on a workbench and then uh, you know the window it's kind of blocked with that and doesn't look very attractive so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through the floor 
So yeah, I got some work to do in here. I, I got to get rid of some of the stuff and make room. Um, yeah, man, I'm excited. I think this is going to work out good. Now, the true test will be tomorrow when it gets really hot. I'll see how well this air conditioner can keep the shed cool. I might have to invest in some insulation for the roof. I don't know. I mean, this thing has does have a lot of natural shade on it, too, so might not be so bad but uh, so yeah this is a uh, step one was just actually going to well step one I guess was, I got this thing cleaned out but now uh, now I got the AC installed and now I can just start moving some stuff out of here and then you know try to figure some stuff out but I think this is gonna work the problem I have in the main garage like when I was working on that cloud buster I'm standing up at the workbench the Camaro's behind me I don't have a lot of room to move. If I drop something, then it's like usually underneath the car and at the crawl around. We're here. I got all the space. And then, two, it's so hot. Like, I was trying to charge batteries, and the chargers were shutting down. I actually, brand new charger for the uh, Clod Buster. I drilled a bunch of holes in it so it would vent. But if I put the batteries and stuff in here and it's air conditioned and cooled, I won't have that problem. I'm just, I'm running out of room in my bedroom. I got all the drones there. I have an entire like shelf and a half of charging for GoPro stuff and drones. I, I'm just I'm out of room in my bedroom. So, and then when I want to work on my bikes, I've been working in the in the uh, living room, which you maybe saw those videos. So, yeah, man, this, I think this is gonna be freaking cool, man. It's cool, and it came with the house, the shed, this workbench, everything was here. So. Not cost me. I had this air conditioner uh, a long time ago. I had another shed that I built in the backyard of my old house. And what I did is I put a doggy door on it because sometimes me we would travel and the dogs would be behind. We didn't let. I didn't have a doggy door for them to go into the house. So what I did is I had this air conditioner set up, and that's what I did. I actually because there was no window, I I cut a hole and vented this down through the floor. But I actually had this air conditioner in the shed, so that way when we traveled during the summer, the dogs had a place that they could come and lay down, and it would be cool. I mean, I used the shed for some storage, but I kept, like, the main area of the floor open for the dogs. So that's why I had this air conditioner. So I've had the air conditioner for a while, and everything else in here came with the house. So it's just up to me to clean it up. But, I mean, this is cool. Like, I'm thinking... Like up here maybe, I put like those new bins that I got for the bike parts, I could put those up there. Um, stuff I got bike to, I, you know, hey, whatever, but oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I think I'm going to start cleaning some stuff out of here, start moving some stuff in. This is going to be exciting, but it's going to take a minute because uh, when I took that air conditioner outside and rinsed it out, I didn't think, you know, stupid me, I, I grabbed it and picked it up and tried to bring it in here and yeah, I like pulled my back something bad, so. Gonna be a couple days before I come out here, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Um, I am gonna reach out to Brian. I do gotta get Project Z28 tuned. I also need to order an AC compressor. I need to work on that. Oh, I really don't want to. It's so freaking hot outside, but, um. I need to work on that. I have a RC car I'm going to build, and I got a new one coming. It's going to be so sick. So please uh, stay tuned. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the uh, remodel here of Production Central 3.0. So then, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.